generations to generations we worship you hallelujah hallelujah we worship you for who you are we worship you hallelujah hallelujah we worship you for who you are you are good all the time you are good all the time all the time you are good you are good all the time all the time you are good you are good all the time all the time you are good you are good all the time all the time you are good you are good all the time and pray all the time and pray you are good oh you are Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy and your rest forever. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. Are good. Hallelujah. Can we worship our good God this morning? Hallelujah. His mercies endure forever. Hallelujah. Could you stand for me, please? We continue our morning's worship by repeating Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe our cruelty. I had fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In a world that is full of darkness, where there is evil on every hand, we give God thanks this morning that he is our light. He is our salvation, and we can put our trust in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. We continue by repeating our mission statement and the pledge. We endeavor to love, obey, and serve our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, striving always to fulfill our purpose in making disciples of all men for the advancing of the kingdom of God on earth. Under the direction and power of the Holy Ghost, and with an empowered people, we will foster unity, love, and fellowship within the apostolic community. In carrying out our mission, we pledge to build God's kingdom through the ministries of apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher as we seek to rescue our fellow men from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Teach believers the word necessary for maturity, growth, and mission, and prepare believers for the glorious appearing of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We continue our morning's worship by singing number 62 from the Pentecostal hymnal, It Is Mine. <laughs> God's abiding peace is in my soul today. Yes, I feel it now. Yes, I feel it now. He has taken all my doubts and fears away. Though I cannot tell you how. It is my mind. Blessed be his name. He has given peace. Perfect peace to me, it is mine, mine. Blessed be his name, mine for all eternity. He has wrought in me a sweet and perfect rest. In my raptured heart, I can feel it now. He is passing moment, keeps me safe and blessed. Floods with light my heart and mind. Oh, yes, he's mine, mine. Blessed be his name, he has given peace, perfect peace to me. It is mine, mine. Blessed be his name, mine for all eternity. He has given me. A never failing joy. Oh, I have it now. Oh, I have it now. To his praise I will. My ransom for them Lord. And renew my grateful vow. Oh, it is my mind. Blessed be his name. He has given me perfect peace to me. It is mine, mine. Blessed be his name, mine for all eternity. Oh, the love of God is comforting my soul. For his love is mine. Yes, his love is mine. With of joy and gladness for my spirit more, thrilling me with life divine. Oh, it is my mind. Blessed be his name. He has given peace, perfect peace to me. Oh, it is my mind. Blessed be his name. Mine for all eternity. Be 
Hallelujah. So we can rejoice this morning because we have the King of Peace, the Prince of Peace, abiding within us. Hallelujah. Our morning's lesson comes to us from St. Luke chapter 4, and I'll be reading from verse 16 through to 21. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. May the Lord bless his words to our heart. Our song for prayer this morning is number 247 from the Pentecostal hymnal, I Need Thee Every Hour. We'll stand when we're singing verse 4 and we'll be led in prayer by Evangelist Brooks. I need thee every hour, most great.
thank you, Jesus. Eternal Father, strong to save, mighty to deliver. This morning, dear God, with a heart of gratitude, with a heart of thanksgiving, we come to worship you, Lord. We come to praise you. We come to magnify you, Lord, because there is none like unto you. You are highly exalted and high. And so as we come this morning, we have the Lord God Almighty to look down upon us this morning as we offer unto you our sacrifices of praise and of thanksgiving. We pray eternal God that it will be acceptable in your sight. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, nothing so good that we have done, but we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for that supreme sacrifice that you paid for us, Lord, to ransom us from sin, that we can gather together this morning, oh God, to worship you. Lord God Almighty, we ask you this morning, God Almighty, to bless your children. Many are cast down. Many are despondent. But you are a God that is able to be touched with the feelings of all infirmities. And you are acquainted with all of our griefs and suffering. And you are able, Lord God Almighty, to do for us far more than we can ask of you. Oh, God Almighty. upon him yes, as he humble himself before you Lord God Almighty the give him the word of wisdom yes, Lord. knowledge and understanding that as he imparts to your children oh God Almighty they may be to grow in praise oh, yeah. as they take heed your word and to turn away from sin and ungodliness and to worship you in spirit and in truth lord god bless jamaica oh god almighty those in authority we pray for them our government lord jesus your position we place them before you lord god almighty that they will realize lord jesus except you build a house they that build it build it in vain except you keep the city the watchman waited in pain. Oh, God Almighty, help them to realize, Lord, it's you. It's all about you. Remember the constabulary force, the regiment, the security. We pray for them, Lord, as they do their civil duty. We pray that they will do it with integrity, realizing, Lord Jesus, my Savior, that you are able to keep them oh god almighty we pray for mercy this morning god in the name of jesus the doctors the nurses lord god almighty their hands are full but you are able lord to keep them oh jesus my savior as they do their professional work lord god in this time with the corona virus, Jesus, my Savior, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your mercy. We pray for your mercy this morning. Have mercy upon your people. We pray that they will repent and turn to you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, hear our cry this morning. Wash us within and without. Cleanse us from inward sin and carnal weakness. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, remember our brethren of foreign land. Oh, God, we pray for them, Lord. 
Keep them under the blood. Keep them from the heat and the cold. Keep them from this virus. Protect them. Over them, dear Jesus. Strengthen them, Lord, as they submit their will to you to serve you with purpose of heart. Remember, our children, Lord, we place them in your hand. They may not understand, but you know all about them, Lord. We pray you cover them. We pray you keep them, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for their parents that they will instill good values in them, that they will come to know you, who to know is life eternal. Lord Jesus, my Savior, remember our young people. Oh, God, have mercy upon them. Lord, you said, young man, I write unto you because you are strong. You said, remember me in the days of your youth, for the days are coming. Thou shalt say, have no pleasure in them. Oh, God, we are in the last time. But we pray for them, Lord God, that they will realize that you are calling them to come home. Jesus, my Savior, bless this service this morning. Oh, God, take full charge and control. Bless the moderator and everyone, the choir that sing. Lord, we place each and every one in your hand. Oh, God, that men and women, Lord, will come to know you, to repent of their sins, and give their lives to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you thanks, Lord, Thank you, Lord. as we have his mercies. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Are you happy to be in God's house? This is the last Sunday in 2020. And what a year it has been. What a year it has been. But today we come to say thanks. Thanks to God for having kept us through 2020. Hallelujah. It's not, a, it's not because we were good. Hallelujah. But it's all because of the mercies of God. And so as we come this morning, I'm praying that we come with a heart of thanksgiving. With a heart of praise. Because God has been good. It's so good to be in the house this morning. I'm so excited to see all of God's wonderful people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to see you all. And God has been good to us. And we just come this morning to give him thanks. We want to give God thanks for all of God's people. Those who are here. Those who might be at home watching. Those who are viewing by Facebook or by the internet, by whatever means you're viewing us this morning, we give God thanks for you. Today is a blessed day to be in the house, and we are giving God thanks, and we know that he has a word in store for us this morning. Hallelujah. As we look towards the future, as we look towards what he has in store for us, hallelujah. And so we want to thank you for joining us in worship, and we want to let you know that there's a blessing in store for you and if you are not saved what better day to give your heart to the lord than today hallelujah as you step out with him into 2021 hallelujah do we have any visitors in our house this morning any first time visitors in the house okay not here as yet we just want to give thanks for everybody who is here whether you're first or second or third time we just give God thanks for you. And we know that God has a blessing for you. I want you just to turn to your neighbor and just to wave to them. Give them a smile. Let them know how happy you are to see them in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing could stop us from coming this morning just to say thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. And I have protection from the Lord above. Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he'll guide me all the way, all the way. Yes, I'm overshadowed by his boundless love. And I have protection from the Lord Every passing day, 
pastor in the house this morning and missionary Lewis, hallelujah, and all of God's officers, all of the workers in the house this morning, it's good to have you, hallelujah. It's offering time in the house. We're going to be repeating our giver's creed. It's our final Sunday. And we want to leave here this morning saying, silver and gold, have I none. So we're going to give as God has blessed us. Amen? First Chronicles 16, 28 to 34. Everybody please stand. If you can stand, please stand. Thank you. Give unto the Lord, he king dreads of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fare before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad. And let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks today yes, for this blessing of life. God, we thank you for this opportunity to be in your courts one more time. Hallelujah. What a blessing, Lord God. We recognize that there's so many who would have loved to have this opportunity, but they don't. And so, God, from the bottom of our hearts, we just want to say thanks for all that you have done. Thank you for blessing us, Lord God, physically, spiritually. Oh, God. And as we come this morning to give back to you a portion of what you have blessed us with, we ask, God, that you help us that we will give cheerfully. Oh, God, because your word said that you love a cheerful giver. Bless us now, we pray. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Please be guided by the ushers while our praise team will sing. Glory and 
power be unto the ancients of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancients of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O oh God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancients of day. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Sing to the ancients of day. Can we shout hallelujah? Is there a grateful heart that came on this, the final Sunday of 2020, just to tell God, thank you, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah one more time. Just before you take your seat, just lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Now, folks don't understand that that's a loaded thank you, Jesus. I don't know I don't know I don't I don't understand it I don't get it I don't get it I don't get it I don't understand it why some folks are still so quiet why some folks are still sitting in their seat when you can stand I don't understand but but it's a loaded thank you because if you knew what I knew how God protected us through 2020 oh God Almighty through many dangers through many dangers, toils and stairs, we, we, we have already come. Show oh, thank you, Jesus. Just before you sit, just before you sit, some folks who started 2020 with us, not here, 
my God but we are here we're alive we're in church and the Bible says let everything I mean everything that has breath praise he the Lord shout hallelujah take your seat oh God thank you thank you Jesus never would have made it never would have made it without the Lord he's been so good so good he's been so good everybody say so good we honor the spirit of the Lord this morning and we thank God for the grace that he's given unto us to a moderator missionary minister Joan Smallin to missionary Monique Lewis to all the officers who are here to all our friends and our visitors, especially those who have joined us here in the sanctuary, and those, praise God, who has joined us via our YouTube, Facebook, and our Twitter channel, we thank God for you. And we thank God for the grace that he has given unto all of us to see this, the ending of another year. We have just a few more days to go, but this is the final Sunday, amen? This is the final Sunday and we give God thanks for his grace and we give God thanks for his mercies that has spared our lives. Amen. On Thursday is when we close, praise God, this year. But until then, I'm going to say thank you, Jesus, because he has brought us from a mighty, everybody say mighty mighty long way he has brought us from a mighty long way on thursday night amen we are closing out at 7 30 on our youtube facebook and twitter channel our end of year teaching series and believe me if you have been tuning in amen ever since we started six weeks ago on our teacher end of year teaching series entitled growing stronger even in a time of crisis it's really been a blessing amen really been some powerful presentations that has come through the servants of god that have shared with us and on this thursday night which will be the final night for amen the year and we are closing the year strong amen bethel we are closing the year strong Amen. So we're closing our teaching series at 7.30. So you need to be glued, amen, to your device. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, amen, on our Facebook channel, amen, for the closing of that series at 7.30, amen, where we're growing stronger even in a time of crisis. Our presenter will be Elder Richard McDonald from New York, amen, and I'm sure God has a word for him as we go into the month of consecration in january amen then at 11 o'clock so we are going to be on at 7 30 and then we are going to be on back at 11 o'clock amen 11 p.m for our thanksgiving what persons generally refer to as a watch night service amen it will be virtual online amen on our youtube facebook and twitter channel amen you know that the government has closed and the curfew is in effect so you join us online at 11 p.m every single member amen as we close 2020 strong amen and march forward into 2021 so our thanksgiving service will be on at 11 p.m and amen will go on till about 12 12 15 will take us over into 
amen the new year so join us at Bethel united church of jesus christ apostolic that's our youtube channel our twitter channel is at Bethel underscore scr and facebook we are at www.facebook.com slash scr so please join us remember at 7 30 then at 11 30 and then at 1 a.m at 1 a.m that's now friday morning new year's morning amen so nobody should be sleeping in the new year you're supposed to be up in the new year amen at 1 a.m will be our new year's greetings video link up now those of you who would have been following us on facebook or our youtube channel knows that there is a video link up we're asking all the members of our church all the members here at 20 south camp road to use your phone your tablets whatever you have your laptop and to do a 30 seconds video 30 seconds now it cannot be longer than 30 seconds if you make it longer than 30 seconds it will not be a part of the production amen 30 seconds and you must send in your new year's greetings for the saints or the pastor just bless somebody with a new year's greeting since we won't be able to see each other we will greet each other virtually now that video amen and if you are listening to us and you are a member and you're living in canada you're living in america and you're living in england and you're a member of bethel 20 south camp you were a member of bethel 20 south camp road before you migrated you're also welcome to send in your video greetings it must be sent to the following number that's 876 or if you have a pen write it down so you can send your video in because everybody needs to participate in this and to be a part of it amen i'm going to ask if the audiovisual team can bring up this number that's 876 29 amen that's 876 that's the area code for jamaica 2966983 that's 876-29 nine eight three everybody got that i'll repeat it one more time eight seven six two nine six six nine eight three we will repeat this again at the end of the service for those who have missed it finally on january 3 will be the first sunday of 20 21. The number is up. That's 876-296-6983. All right. So that's where you're going to send via WhatsApp. Amen. Your video. So send the video to that number via WhatsApp. Amen. Everybody is with me. Make sure you're a part of it. We'll be watching it all in the morning. Amen. From one till when it ends. That's what we'll be doing. Listening to the brethren and greeting each other and sharing with each other. What a bit. Well, is there a better way to start the new year than with the family of God? Amen. So let's do that. Amen. With the family of God. All right. So on Sunday, January 3 is first Sunday. And we expect to see everyone in the house of the Lord. Some folks have not been to church in a long while we're expecting everyone to begin the year in the house of the lord and so we'll be having three morning three services on new year's sunday 8 30 10 30 and at 12 30 there'll be three services so i don't want anyone to give me any excuse why they can't be in the house of the lord now bethel you are aware that even with three services we might not be able to cover everybody and so you better make sure that you call in to book your spot for the 8 30 10 30 and 12 30 service amen it's going to be great we're going to amen worship god like never before brethren we do not know what tomorrow holds but we serve a god who knows tomorrow before tomorrow even starts he is the omniscient god who knows everything and so for sunday three services just for the first sunday 8 30 10 30 and 12 30 and all services will have a man 
the registration on so please remember to call in on the number not 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 the number that was put up for the video link up that number is strictly just video related that's a video link amen you know the numbers that you need to call to register for service amen so do not send the registration for services via that number it will not be passed on amen praise god all right let's hear the word of the lord let me see the hands of those who came to the lord we need to hear from you we need to hear from you we need a word we need a word from you all right let's go to the book of saint luke chapter number four saint luke chapter number four We're going to read from verse 16 to verse 21 of the text. And then we share what God has placed on our hearts for such a time as this. Let's read together from the 16th verse. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as was his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears the word of the lord and we say thanks be to god for the reading of his word i want to share in this service and to complete this text in the second service on the topic the purpose and mission of Jesus Christ the purpose and mission of Jesus Christ and so we will do part one in this service and we will continue in service number two over the last couple of days there have been much discussion concerning the birth of Jesus and this time of year that we often refer to as Christmas may I dare say that the world is confused about the true purpose of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so many are caught up with pagan practices that they have little or no regards for the true purpose and the mission of our Lord. He was not born simply that we may sing Christmas carols, eat Christmas cake and drink our sorrow. And I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. But it has to be more than just that. For us who are believers, the birth of Jesus Christ and his life is far more than just a story. And far more than just a season. If the truth be told, Jesus Christ is our everything. He means everything to us. He 
is our all. So he's not just to be heralded and adored on the 25th of December. Oh no. For us, we praise him every day. As long as I live, the psalmist says, I will praise the Lord. So for us, our worship for God is not linked to a season. Because when some folks are done, they will no longer sing about Jesus' birth. They will no longer recognize his birth. But for the child of God, every day is a worship experience. Every day is a praise party for the child of God. Because every day we see new mercies. Every day we see new grace. Praise God that he has given unto us. In the above verse, Jesus describes for us what could be considered his mission statement. A mission statement gives to us clear, a clear definition as to one's purpose. What it is that we are called to do. And in the text, Jesus said, listen, the spirit of the Lord God is upon and he gives us his mission statement, his purpose. Why was he born? Why was God manifested in the flesh? He says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel. That's his purpose. To the poor. He has sent me to heal broken hearted. Those whose heart have been broken by the vicissitudes of life and the circumstances of life. He says, I've come to heal all broken hearts. To preach deliverance to the captives. In other words, if you are bound by the enemy, he says, you don't have to be bound anymore. To preach deliverance to the captives. What is there? He also says that he is come for the recovery of sight to the blind. Those who have been blinded by the traditions of men. Blinded by the customs of men. He says I've come that you might have sight. Not just physical sight but divine vision. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Those held in captive. Bruised by their chains. Bruised by the beatings of their taskmaster. He says, I've come that you might be set free. And those of us in the church today can shout, I'm free. Praise the Lord. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. Ah, we are resting. It's just a, open your mouth and say it, it's just a, praise the Lord, I'm, I'm free, I'm free. That, that's his mission statement. To preach, he says, the acceptable year of the Lord. In other words, to preach that this is God's timing. This is the hour of God's visitation. This is the hour. And I want to say at the outset of this sermon, if you're hearing me and you're not saved, that this is the hour of salvation. This is the time to be saved. This is the dispensation of grace. The door of grace is still open. But beloved, there will come a time when the door of grace. So whatever you do, do it now. Do it quickly. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while. I, I want to summarize his mission statement quickly with just a couple of points. Amen. And then we close. Point number one. I, I want us to understand that he came down that we might be caught up. He came down that we might be 
Can we say it one more time? He came that we might be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pastor, I, I need you to explain where he came from. Well, that's a good question. St. John 6 verse 38 tells us. Because Jesus told us where he came from. Mm -hmm. Let's read together. He says, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him oh my god he was born for a purpose he was born as we look at this christmas sunday he was born with a mission in mind he was born with a purpose in mind he says i came down from heaven not to do mine own will but to do the will of him that sent me he came down on a mission from god he came down with a purpose oh god for humanity and this purpose was beyond his own will he says this is not about my desires or my will but the will of him that sent me now what was this mission that he came on we are told he came down from heaven what was his mission saint luke 19 verse 10 tells us what his mission was so john 6 38 tells us he came down to do his father's will but then luke 19 10 tells us clearly what his mission was let's read together for the son of man is come that's his mission he came to seek and to save that which was so he went when jesus came here he was on a mission for the lost he was seeking for us and i'm so glad that one day oh thank you jesus in that seeking in that searching he stopped by my door. He was seeking for you. He was seeking for me. Though we, we, we knew it not, yet he still loved us and was seeking for us. And he kept seeking for us. Some of us were running away from God. Tell the truth. When the Lord knocked at your heart's door, you were saying, God, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I, I'm not, I'm not going to make a decision because, you know, the excuses that we give. Uh, was there anybody who says, I, I don't want to start and turn back. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm ready. But he was seeking for us. Uh, he was searching. And though we tried uh, to escape and to get away from the very presence of God, uh, there he was in tenderness and in love pulling us uh, until we say yes but i want us to understand that it is not over yes that is really important because no man can come to christ uh, unless he first draws him so he was the one who was seeking for us and pulling us not that paul says we loved him but that he first Oh, he was the one who initiated this love relationship. He was not that we loved him, but that he first loved us. And Paul puts it like this. He says, while we were yet sinners, he, he died for us. While we were messed up, while we were polluted, while, while we were drunkards and liars, whoremongers. Uh, oh, while we were scammers and thieves. Uh, he died for us. He looked beyond. And you wonder why we made the effort to come to service this morning. Some of us are just here to lift our hands and just say, thank you, Jesus, for salvation. Is there anybody here that don't mind standing on your feet, lifting your hands and just say, thank you, Jesus, for salvation? 
And if you're listening to me by, 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 by means of, of your computer or on YouTube or Facebook, just type in, thank you, Jesus, for salvation. Can you imagine what we would be if it wasn't for salvation? Where would we be? Mm -hmm. Take your seats. He came down. But he came down to seek and to save that which was lost. He came down that we might be caught up. Brethren, we could not go up to God because our sins and our iniquity had separated us from God. But Jesus Christ came down. He, God was manifested in the flesh. The Lord Jesus Christ walked to Calvary. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He walked to Calvary. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. And for me and for you, he died. But oh, Lord, the preacher said last Sunday, Melissa Hilton preached and she said, when he died, the very veil of the temple, that message is still ringing in my soul. The very veil of the temple was rent in two, exposing the holies of holies, meaning that we can now have access where there was no access. We can now have access to God. We can now walk into the very presence of God. And so he came down that we might have access to God. So you see, in the old covenant, the priest had to stand between God and the people. And to make offerings and sacrifices for the people. Because the people could not appear before God for themselves. Without the priest making an offering. But aren't you glad that he came down? That you and I can have access to God. That we can walk into the very presence of God. We don't need anybody to usher us into the presence of God. But we can stand right here in 20 South Camp Road in Kingston, Jamaica. And we can be ushered, my God, into the very presence of Almighty God. How many know that worship transports us into the very presence? Oh, oh my God. He came down that we might be caught up. He came down that we might have access to God. That we might have access to the presence of God. And that's why, child of God, we are not bound to a local. We are not bound to a place. And that's why when the government shut down oh god the assembly yeah he the government could not shut down worship they might shut down a gathering but they could not shut down a worship because worship don't need buildings worship can transport us through walls worship transports us through doors and windows into the very presence of the almighty that's why when you were at home in your bedroom you felt the anointing because worship is not tied to a building but worship is tied to a God who came down that we might have access he came down he came down so in worship we are brought into the very presence of God. I'm going to close. Remember this was just part one. You have to tune in online for part two. He came down that we might be caught up. Uh, we might have access to God. Uh, access to his presence. But ultimately he came down uh, that we might be caught up. Uh, what are you talking about pastor? Well the Bible speaks uh, 
of a time when the Lord himself shall descend. I want us to understand that Jesus told his disciples in St. John 14, he says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house and many mansions. And I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be. And he says, where I, if I go, I will. And when I come, I will receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. I want to herald an announcement on this, the final Sunday. Oh God of 2020. Oh God, to tell and remind the house of Bethel that this world is not our home. We are but pilgrims. Some folks ain't even paying attention to the word. We are but pilgrims and sojourners. We, we are just passing through. This world is not our home. The address that you write on letters, that's not your true home. You've got a home that's so much better. And you're going to go there sooner or later. So don't get adjusted. He says, if I, if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That, that we where I am, there you may. So, child of God, as we close out 2020 and we look forward to 2021. And as I bring part one of my simple sermon to a close. I want to remind us. That while we're looking for 2021, turn your eyes to the eastern sky and look for the coming of the Lord. The songman says it may be at morn and it may be at twilight. It may be perchance at the blackness of midnight that Jesus will come. But I'm here to tell Bethel, ready or not, our Lord is coming. Because he came down that we might be caught up. He came down that we don't have to live in this miserable world anymore. But he came down that we might be caught up. It is Paul who writes to the church at Tessalonica, who explains and expresses this, this rapture, this caught up experience. In 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 16 and 17, for the Bible says, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a shout. Bethel, look for a shout. Look for a shout. There is a shout that's coming uh, with the voice of the archangels and with the very trump of God. And when that trump is sounded, the dead in Christ, those who have died and gone on before us, they are not forgotten. They are waiting for the sounding of the trump of God. Because Jesus came down uh, that we might be caught up. Uh, they are waiting for the sound of the trumpet uh, of the Lord God Almighty. Oh, God says, for the Lord himself uh, shall descend from heaven with a shout. Look what the scripture says. With the voice uh, of the archangels uh, and with the trump of God uh, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Shall rise first. Then we, touch yourself and say we. Point to your name and say we, 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 we. We, which are alive and remain. There is a text, shall be. Everybody says, Shh, caught up. Caught up. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to do what? To meet the Lord. We have to meet him. So the songman says, there is going to be a meeting in the air in that sweet, sweet by and by, I am going to meet you, meet you there 
in that home beyond the sky some singing you will hear never heard by mortal ear it be glorious i do declare that god's own son will be the leading one in the meeting in the era as we close out 2020 i'm here to announce get ready for a meeting i'm not talking about members meeting but get ready for a meeting in the air get ready for the sounding of the trumpet get ready for the coming of the lord everybody ought to be ready we ought to have our lamps trim we ought to have our lamps burning we have to have our lamps bright because ready or not ready or not our lord is coming and the bible says uh, that we should look for the coming of the lord uh, and when we look for his coming uh, we ought not to look with fear or trepidation uh, but the bible says we should comfort uh, one another with these words uh, that the lord is coming back again uh, he's coming back again uh, i'm here to announce he went away uh, but not to stay uh, that he's coming back again uh, and i can hear the sound uh, of the trumpet getting ready to blow uh, signs of the times uh, are everywhere uh, and there's a brand new uh, feeling in the air uh, every child of god uh, that's filled with the holy ghost uh, there is an uncomfortable feeling uh, in your spirit uh, something that keeps reminding you that this world is not your home something that keeps on reminding you that any day now any hour now that he who came down that we might be caught up is on his way hallelujah to God he's coming back again I feel it in my spirit Bethel as you look to 2021 turn your eyes off the calendar and look to God God, uh, look to the heavens uh, look for the coming of the Lord uh, he's coming soon uh, he's coming soon uh, troublesome times are here uh, filling men's hearts with fear uh, freedom we all all there uh, now is at stake uh, but somebody says humble your hearts to God uh, uh, for he's coming back uh, Jesus is coming soon uh, morning or night or noon uh, men it will meet their doom trumpet will sound but all the dead in Christ shall rise rise up to meet him in the sky I'm looking for the rapture I'm looking for the coming I'm waiting for the Lord I'm looking to be caught up this world this world this world is not our home soon and very soon we are going to meet the king. Turn to your neighbor and say, you, you have a meeting appointment. I didn't hear you. You got a meeting appointment. You got a meeting. This meeting is not uptown. This meeting is not downtown. It's not in Trelawney. This meeting is a meeting in the... Hold on, my child. This meeting is about to begin. Even so, come. I want to close with somebody who the enemy has been trying to push out. Trying to cancel your meeting. Oh, shut out of both sides. In the both sides. You were all set and packed for the meeting. But somewhere during this corona crisis, the enemy got you mixed up and canceled your meeting. Canceled by illegal alliances, illegal relationships. But there is going to be you better get right with God you better come back to God you better stop hiding behind your computer 
and get back in right relationship with God. Matosha. Bethel, I don't know if we will see 2021. I don't even know if we will finish 2021. But what I know, there is going to be a meeting. Listen, he came down. He said, I came down from heaven not to do my own will. That we might be caught up to meet him. This altar is open. I want to call every backslider. We know. You know. God knows that you have lost fellowship with him. You have a shell of what you used to be. The enemy has cancelled your meeting appointment. But God has sent me here to re-register you for the meeting. Woo! I hear your Holy Ghost. To re-register you. Every ungodly alliance must bring. Matoshaya. Mundo, shande de bosaya, kundo de bosaya. Every ungodly deal that was made has to be cancelled today. Your meeting is being re-registered. Matoshaya, kundo, matoshande, mando de bosa, kundo de bosa mato. Every backslider, you're hearing my voice. You're under divine quarantine. He came down that we might be caught up. Hear the Lord today. Right in front of that computer, that phone, that tablet, right on this altar in this building. You can make it right with God. You can say, I've wandered far. Praise him. That's a song. So that you know. I've wandered far. Away from God. But now, I'm coming home. The parts of sin. You have no business. You have no business. Hold on. You have no business being where you are. You know you have been tortured for the way of the transgressor is hard. Come home. Return to the house of God. Return to the house of God. Return to God. He came down that we might be caught up. Is there another soul that will come? Home. Coming home. Coming home. What a beautiful song. Coming home. Coming home. Never Repent. came down that's his purpose that we might be caught up Lord, I'm coming one more time coming home and then we pray 
Join us online for the second service as we continue this sermon. The purpose and mission of Jesus Christ. Coming home as we sing the final time. Coming home. Coming home. Never more. Never more to roll. Open. Brother, have you been baptized in the water in Jesus' name? Are you prepared today to make a commitment? Do you need someone to talk with you? At the end of the service, we will share with you. But we advise you today to make the best use of the opportunity that's available to you. Amen. Ooh. Open wide thine arms of love, Lord. I'm coming. Oh. And so, God, we thank you that your purpose and mission has been made clear to us. Jesus, you came down from heaven not to do your own will, but the will of him that sent you. You declare that the Son of Man has come and to seek and to save that which was lost. We pray this morning that even by the preaching of your words, that the hearts of men will be turned away from sin and be turned towards you. Father, we thank you that you, Lord Jesus Christ, came down that we might be caught up. Hallelujah. That we might experience the rapture. To meet you in the clouds. And so shall we be with the Lord forever. Help us, God, to be ready. Not just getting ready, Lord. But help us to be ready waiting like the wise virgins with oil in our lamp and oil in our vessel help us god to be watchful hallelujah help us to be looking help us god to always be aware that at any point you can put in your appearance help us to be caught up I pray for every member of this church that you'll make us right. You'll make us ready. Hallelujah. So when that trumpet is sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first, we which are alive and remain, that every single member of Bethel will be caught up together with them in the clouds. Don't let us rise up early. Don't let us sit up late, God. And eat the bread of sorrow. But help us, God, to make it in. Hallelujah. Sanctify us afresh with your blood. Let there be no spot. Let there be no wrinkle on our garments. We thank you for our brother who stands on this altar. 
as his heart is turned towards you. We pray, God, that you'll work on the good desires of his heart. We pray for our brothers and sisters who might have wandered far away from you. Hallelujah. But we thank you for the probing of your word. We thank you, God, for the discerning of your words. We thank you for hearts that have been changed, lives that have been changed. Oh, God, we pray right now for the restoration of backsliders everywhere. We pray for their forgiveness. We pray, God, even now that you will enfold them with your love and with your grace. Restore, rekindle. Hallelujah. You are the repairer of all breaches. You said that you've come to heal broken hearts. Uh, deliverance to the captive. Oh, God, we thank you that someone has recovered their sight. They can see clearly now. The mask is off. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for victory. Thank you for restoration. But if we fail of asking, you fail not to grant it, Lord. As we declare, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forevermore. Let all of God's people say, Take your seats. Just to remind us before. Minister Smalling comes with the general announcements again on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. will be our closing of our growing. That's Thursday evening. What most folks refer to as watch night. We call it Thanksgiving because we ain't watching the night. We are giving God thanks. Thanksgiving service. At 7.30 p.m. join us online. YouTube, Twitter. Facebook for the closing of our Growing Stronger, even in a time of crisis teaching series with our last presenter, Elder Richard McDonald from New York at 7 p.m. Then we are back on at 11 p.m. for our Thanksgiving service. Amen. Amen. As we step out of 2020 into 2021 and then at 1 a.m. right after we have closed our Thanksgiving service and had something to drink and relax a little by 1 a.m. will be our New Year's greetings video link up and every member of 20 South Camp Road use your phones your iPad any device you have and take a 30 second video greeting the brethren greeting the saints and wishing us a happy new year amen send it to via whatsapp to the following number 876 it's on the screen for you, 876-2966-983. Amen. You can start sending it as of today. You can do it and send it right now. Amen. The closing date for the videos is Tuesday. This Tuesday at 11 p.m. You have to do it and send it before Tuesday night, 11 p.m. Amen. And so please be reminded of that. And then finally, praise God. The number is still up for those who want to write it down. Finally, remember that on Sunday, it's verse Sunday, that's January 3, there'll be three services, 8.30, 10.30, and 12.30. So please call and register for these three services. We want to see as many of the brethren out on this, the first Sunday of the year. Amen. So please, we have extended ourselves, praise God, for three services. Pray our strength. Amen. Those of us who have to be in all three services and preach all three, pray our strength in Jesus' name. Amen? God's got a word for everyone. God bless you. Please listen to the other announcements and then we do the benediction and we go in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Sister Camille Brown is celebrating her birthday today. Sister Camille, where are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sister Camille. Happy birthday to you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you today and always. Sunday school this afternoon at 5.15 and on Saturday virtual prayer meeting 6 to 8 a.m. God bless you. Let's stand for the benediction. No prayer meeting, so we will pray individually at home. God bless you.
All right, so there'll be no virtual prayer meeting on this Saturday. Amen. We'll pick up in the month of consecration. Lift your hands for the benediction all across this building. And now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne, to the only wise God, we ascribe honor, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Let all of God's people say, Amen. let the church say, Amen. Those are the